Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm TechFanek and I am from AndroidRoots.com and this time we're taking a look at another ROM for Galaxy Nexus GSM and this time it is called Cyber GR Mod for Galaxy Nexus well, GSM, <laughs> I just said. And right here initially when you do turn on your phone and go to your lock screen, you have options for File Manager and Google uh, the Google Play Music. And now in this case I actually added those shortcuts, you can choose whatever um, apps you want and any options. And you also have options for more shortcuts right here at the top under the uh, clock. Um, you have more options. So in my case, I had a gallery calculator and Gmail. But you can add more options. You can change the applications. You can put a bookmark there, whatever you really want. I just chose to put that there. And you can see by the wallpaper, this one does come included. But you can even get more there. So go ahead and take a look at some of the wallpapers real quick. So all these are come uh, pre-installed um, from this ROM, specific ROM. So you can choose any one you want. It's not uh, specifically for uh, Cyber GR mod, but it does look nice. These are pretty nice, and they have each names for them. So there are a lot of them, and you're probably gonna find one that you really do like. That one looks pretty nice, right there. So as you can see, there are a lot, so a lot to pick out from. And this ROM does include two launchers: the Stock Launcher, Stock Pure Android Launcher, and Nova Launcher. So in this case, let's go ahead and choose Nova Launcher just so you can see some of the differences. So as you can see, the transition is a little bit different. Um, your um, app drawer is the same, is just pretty much the same. So overall it is uh, very similar but if you want a more faster experience or just even a different experience and modify more of the launcher, go ahead and use Nova Launcher but if not you can use the stock launcher which we'll be using for the rest of the video. So let's go ahead and let's go into settings uh, for just a little bit. Uh, you are running on 4.2.2 so latest Android version as of this video and you can see right there Cyber GR mod right there. So let's go ahead and back out. And here is where you got a lot of stuff. So under tools, you have cyber mod, uh, cyber GR mod, control, ROM tools, themes, and update center. So let's go ahead and look a little bit into here. We're not going to go really in depth, but um, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of these things. So you have general UI, which you can do a lot of, you know, well, general stuff. <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, let's choose navigation bar. And you can change the colors of navigation bars to whatever color you want. So let's go ahead and change this color to... Let's say for instance, red, right? Let's go and choose red. And now it changes red. So the whole bottom bar is red. And you can have to change the bar button color too, to whatever color you want. We're not gonna really change that, but we'll just leave it to red right now. It doesn't look that bad. It looks all right. But you can, you know, you can hold, change your whole yeah, theme, your whole phone to a specific color if you would like. Uh, you have a lot of options too, staff bar toggles. So if you wanna change it, how many per row? So you can change like five per row. And now when you look here, you'll actually have five per row, so you can fit more toggles if you want. Or if you don't feel like scrolling, if there are big icons, you can actually just, you know, have it on one page without scrolling, which is much more efficient in my case. Um, but you can enable toggles or disable them. So let's say I don't like, um, let's say I don't like uh, auto-rotate. Oh, auto-rotate. Close. And now auto-rotate is gone. So uh, you can do a lot of things with that very, very easily due to... And you have a lot of other options too that we're not going to go really in depth for just because of um, uh, obvious issues, you know, or obvious reasons, not issues. Uh, but you have a lot of options, uh, pretty much stock, except you got those uh, settings. And you also got this uh, nice app, Trickster Mod, which is really nice. I love it. So let's go ahead and open it up. Um, it does require a super user, but this does come pre-rooted, so you'll be good to go for that. Um, so you got all your info, which is really nice. So it tells you um, each megahertz it was on for what percent and what time. So it was on 350 megahertz for 9 minutes, 33 seconds, and that was 1% of everything. And it's been in deep sleep for 15 hours, 18 minutes, and 30 seconds, uh, and it's 97% battery. It should be right. Uh, actually, no, that's 97% of the whole life. Sorry about that. Um, so you have a lot of info right there. Uh, device usage for what CPU, memory usage, all that good stuff. So you can really uh, tell what it's using, and it's all current time. Uh, you have more tools right here. You know, kernel backups, device host name. If you want to change that, a lot of good stuff. Um, you can go into general and change all this. Um, I'm not really um, all this. I would really keep the same, but you can actually change the CPU frequency if you would like. I uh, just keep in mind that it might become unstable. Um, just keep it, don't really overclock it or really underclock it, or you might run into problems. Um, go ahead and Google it if you feel uncomfortable, or just leave it alone if you just don't want to mess with it. You know, <laughs> that's the best case. But you can actually change the governor, so it's, uh, default is set on interactive. Uh, but you can change it to conservative, on demand, um, anything you really want. Um, you got specifics, you know, all this high performance sound, all that. 
So you have a ton of options that you can do. You can even change the color of your screen. Um, I know uh, for Galaxy Nexus, um, Samsung did screw up on the screen. So if you do have a little um, color is offset or anything like that, you can actually just go ahead and easily change it to whatever. But keep in mind that um, you don't really uh, crazy uh, mess with it. Just slightly um, adjust the settings um, or you might run into problems. Uh, but that's a basic look at Cyber GR mod for your Galaxy Nexus GSM. Link down below for the ROM and more details down below too. Hopefully you did enjoy this ROM review. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button in the bottom left hand corner. And please do consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner as well. Um, that does really help me out a lot. And stay connected with me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. That is also an excellent way to get in contact with me for any reason. Maybe you're having a problem installing the RAM or something to keep force closing or whatever reason. Um, for my various videos I have made for Android. All links down below and social networks. Contact me down below too. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.